Okay guys, so here's a, gonna be a quick uh, tutorial on Viva Video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this um, because you are having trouble using the app. So Viva Video is the bottom app here. It's an orange app with a little camcorder star on it. We're just gonna click into it. Looks like I already have a product open. Let's go back to the main. Okay, so this is this is what it'll look like when you first open up the app. You have a couple of options when you first um, go into it. You can capture a video, go into special effects, um, do a collage, and then like the I'm lucky, that's like they just kind of pick for you. So you can either make a slideshow or a video. We're gonna make a video for this video or for this tutorial because most people that's what you're using it for. And I just have the free version, so I can only do up to five minutes of video. So to use a video you already have, you want to go right into edit, but if you're taking a video straight um, from this app, you're going to go into capture. I already have a video, so I'm just going to go into edit. And it's going to bring up the videos that are in my phone. And let's just quickly edit this one on the presenters kit. And we're going to confirm because this is the video I want. And I just want to add one clip into this video, so I'm going to click Done. So here we are. It's automatically playing the video. Um, you can't hear the volume because it's logged into or plugged into my computer here, but it does have volume to it. So from this screen, you can go directly into picking a theme if you want to put a theme around your video. You can add background music to it or you can go into editing. So let's start with theme. They give you all these different preset themes that you can choose from. And you have to be careful because some of these themes um, don't play through the whole video. And sometimes they're just not very great for the video you're using. So if I choose this pets theme, you can tell right away, and it does have background music in it, you just can't hear it. But you can tell right away that it's not a very good theme for the video I'm making. Um, to cancel out that theme, you just click None, and now it's back to not having a theme. And you can, there's several different themes that you can choose from. Here's my movie. And I believe this theme also has background music in it as well. Um, so let's go back to none. I'm so sorry. You guys can probably hear my dogs eating and drinking in the background. <laughs> so if you want to add background music to the video, you're just going to click on music. Now here's a crucial point. If you are doing a tutorial where you don't want the sound on that you actually have as the background noise, so like say you have crying babies in the background or dogs barking in the background and you're not actually talking, then you can just hit this little mute button and it's right at the bottom left hand corner. You can tap that and that's going to mute the original audio in your video. So we muted that audio. Now we want to add some sort of background music to it. And they have a bunch of different presets that you can choose from. So let's just say bouncing party add. So now I have added the bouncing party to the background of my video and I muted my um, background audio that was originally in the video. Now this video I am actually talking so typically you wouldn't want to mute yourself obviously but like I said if you are doing just a walkthrough tutorial where you're not actually um, talking you're just showing people how to use the products that's where you'd want to mute the background music. Okay. So now we can go into the edit portion of your video, and this is where you can add special effects, um, trim your video, you can clip it, add text, that sort of thing. And there's a ton of different options. Um, I'm just going to go over a couple of the options. You can play around with it, uh, but the mostly used options that I would use is clip edit. And this is where you can trim your video. You can split your video, you can duplicate uh, clips of your video if you want them to replay a couple times. Um, to trim your video, you're just going to click the little trim button, and it's going to bring up your whole video clip here. And 
how to trim it is you have your little, you have the yellow side and the white side that has two lines if you can see that. You can drag those to how far you want to trim your video. So if you just want to quickly trim off the end, say you forgot the camera was on or something and you need to trim off the end, you just pull it in to the point that you want to trim it to. And you can do that at the beginning of the video too and you can go back and forth, figure out how you want it. Once you're satisfied, just hit OK and there you go, it's trimmed. To split the video, if you wanted to delete a certain section of it, you're going to go into split. Now the line here with the little scissors, that's what's where you're going to be splitting your video. Okay. So say I want to take out the middle section of my video because I messed up or something happened. I'm going to hit, I'm trimming or splitting the video um, right where that line is. I'm going to hit OK. So now I have two clips. So the first clip is that first portion before I split the video. And the second clip is the second portion. So because I want to take out the middle of my video, I'm going to go into the sec second section and I'm going to split that clip as well. And now you can see it starts right where I um, split it before. It starts at that point and we want to take out the middle. So I'm going to split like right where I want to take out. And if you are doing this at home, you'll be able to hear the audio so you can find exactly where you want to split. So I want to split it right there and I'm going to hit OK. So now we have three sections of video. The middle section is that section that I want to take out, okay, because we split the front of it and the back of it off. So we want to delete that section. We're just going to hit the X in that corner and it's going to prompt you, do you want to delete that clip? You want to hit OK. So now you just have two sections of clip. If you're satisfied with how you split it, then you just hit that little check mark. And now our clip is a lot shorter and it jumps. It jumps right past that middle section, okay? Um, you can also, like I said, duplicate a section. All you do is you click on the section you want to duplicate and hit duplicate, okay? You can add text to your video as well. So right wherever you want your text to start, just hit add text. And you have all these different options of how to apply the text, what you wear, what you want it to look like. And then you can add whatever text you want. And hit OK and let's take out, we'll just say Maggie. There we go. So we added text and you can play around with it. They give you different text options and colors. The best way to learn is to play around with it yourself. This is just a quick tutorial, okay? So you have text options, color options, um, other sort of animated options here, but we're pretty satisfied and I just want to do a basic tutorial here. So hit the little check mark up in the right hand corner again and it's going to place the text right where you had started it and wherever you want it to finish you're going to hit the check mark. So now the text is only going to pop up right at that section. If you're satisfied you can hit the check mark. If you want to add more text to it um, you can do that. So we're just going to hit the check mark since you know how to do it. You can add special effects to your um, video as well. So we want to start here. Wherever you want to start, you, that's where you're going to place your cursor. And then we're just going to tap FX Add. And this is where you're going to um, pick what special effects you want. Again, so I'm satisfied with the hearts. Now it's going to play just in the section that we placed it, okay? Um, if you want to add more special effects, you can continue to add more. If you're satisfied, just hit the check mark up in the right hand corner and move on. So here's where you can do a voiceover on your video. So say you aren't talking in the video, but you want to talk um, 
add a voiceover so you can talk somebody through what you're doing on the video, this is where you're going to do it. And all you do is you press and hold the mic and you just start talking what you would actually be saying in the video. And once you are satisfied, you just stop and your voiceover is done. Okay? If you want to edit it, you can edit. You can completely delete it or you can trim whatever you did. And once you're done, you just hit the check mark and hit the check mark again once you're satisfied. So say I'm completely satisfied with my video. I think I went through um, a lot of the options here um, for the video. I'm completely satisfied with it. We're going to hit share. And this is where you can export it straight into your gallery, which is what I typically do. You can upload it straight to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Messenger, email, Vine. But typically, I export it to my gallery, and then I can upload it on several platforms or wherever I want to at any point. It's in my gallery, the edited version of the video. And you can choose um, the type of export that you want. It looks like my... Um, high quality is not available and that might be because I have the free version. So then you just tap whatever quality you want and it's going to begin exporting. If you guys have any questions or if this um, tutorial wasn't helpful let me know and I can um, be sure to help you out or adjust the tutorial in any way. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I would be happy to answer them for you. Thank you, and I'll have a